Election to the Senate of the Philippines was held on Monday, May 10, 2010. This is to elect 12 of the 24 seats in the Senate. Together with those elected in 2007, they will comprise the 15th Congress. The senators elected in 2007 will serve until June 30, 2013, while the senators elected in this election will serve up to June 30, 2016. The 2010 presidential election, elections to the House of Representatives as well as local elections will occur on the same date. The Philippines uses plurality at large voting for seats in the Senate. The 12 candidates with the highest number of votes wins the 12 seats up for election. In the election, 10 senators that had previously served in the Senate, six of them incumbents, were re elected. The two neophytes, Ferdinand Bongbong, Marcos Jr., and Teofisto Guingona III, had their fathers previously serve in the Senate. The first nine candidates that were leading in the canvassing of votes by the Commission on Elections were proclaimed winners on May 15, while the last three were proclaimed on May 18. After the election, no party won a majority of seats, although the Liberal Party had the most seats with five, although with the election of Noinoy Aquino as president, the Liberals will have four members in the Senate. The Independents have five, while the Nationalista Party and Lacas Campi CMD have four each. It is expected that Manny Villar of the Nationalistas and Francis Pangilinan from the Liberals be the top contenders to be Senate President. Incumbent Juan Ponce and Real PMP, originally said he would not seek the office, but with the inability of either of the frontrunners to garner the required 13 votes, he has presented himself as a compromise candidate to avoid deadlock. On the convening of the 15th Congress on July 25, Enrile was successfully re-elected as Senate President by 17 senators, with three senators voting for his opponent, Alan Peter Cayetano of the Nationalistas. Three more senators did not attend, and one seat was vacated by Benigno Aquino III who was elected President. Retiring and term-limited incumbents Three senators are voluntarily retiring from the Senate at the end of their current term, two ran for president, and another for vice president, all lost, while two other senators are term limited by the Constitution of the Philippines after serving two consecutive terms. Bagambayan BNP incumbent Richard J. Gordon, ran for president and lost. Liberal Party incumbents Rodolfo Biazan, term limited in 2010, ran for the Muntinlupa City's Legislative District and won. Mar Roxas, ran for Vice President and lost. Partido Democrático Pilipino Lacas ng Bayan incumbent Aquilino Pimentel Jr., term limited in 2010. Independent incumbents Jambi Madrigal, ran for president and lost. Campaign The candidates had varied campaign strategies, but the candidates from the Liberal Party and the Nationalista Party relied on TV advertisements for exposure. Celebrities also endorsed candidates, notably Chris Aquino for Tito Sato and Sharon Cuneta for Nerica Costa. As a callback to the successful VOT for DCHAMMP. Campaign slogan of the People Power Coalition during the 2001 election, the Liberals used the SLAMATLORRRD acronym to easily convey their senatorial lineup. On April 18, ABS CBN held the Harapan face off senatorial debates at La Consolación College, Manila. Adil Tamano scored the highest rating amongst the candidates who participated, followed by Narica Costa and Riza Hontiveros Barakel, while Francisco Tadid rated poorly. Actors Bong Revilla, born Ramon Revilla Jr., who changed his legal name to his screen name, Bong Revilla, prior to the campaign period, and Jingoy Estrada, together with Miriam Defensor Santiago, consistently topped the poll surveys from social weather stations and Pulse Asia. On the other hand, while all incumbent senators who are running appeared safe to retain their seats, it appeared that no party will win a majority of the 12 seats being contested. Candidates 
On December 15, 2009, the Commission on Elections Comelec, released the approved list of candidates for the Senate elections. On January 14, 2010, the Comelec approved four more candidates for the Senate, reaching a total of 61. These are the candidates that were listed on the ballot, with order determined by surname. The tickets are as advertised by the coalition, these are unrecognized by the Comelec but is extensively used by the media. The Comelec does list the political parties of the candidates on the ballot. One has 12 votes for senator, with one vote for every candidate. A voter can distribute one's vote to any ticket as one seems fit. One can vote less than the 12 candidates from any ticket open list, although the coalitions encourage voters to vote 12 to 0, if applicable. A voter who had voted for more than 12 candidates will have his ballot spoiled, invalidating the rest of that voter's votes in the Senate election. A candidate may be included in more than one ticket. A party, if it has not enough candidates to complete a 12-candidate ticket, can invite guest candidates from other parties. These guest candidates can choose to acknowledge their inclusion in other tickets and are not bound to follow the policies of the tickets that adopted them. Opinion polls Note, tables only include confirmed candidates by the Comelec. The following are results of surveys taken after candidates were confirmed by the Comelec. Results Senate composition before and after the election Election result, with only seats up being considered Incumbents, former senators, and candidates whose other family members that had Senate experience performed well. All six incumbents who ran held their seats, four former senators also won, and the two neophyte senators, Bongbong Marcos and T.G. Guingona had their fathers, Ferdinand Marcos and Teofisto Guingona Jr., respectively, previously served at the Senate. Among the six winning incumbents, three had family members that previously served in the Senate, Bong Revilla, son of Ramon Revilla Sr., Jingoy Estrada, son of Joseph Estrada, and Pia Cayetano, daughter of Rene Cayetano, her brother, Alan Peter Cayetano, won in 2007. The three of the four former winning senators also had a family member with Senate experience, Ralph Recto, grandson of Claro M. Recto, Tito Sato, grandson of Vicente Sato, and Sergio Osmeña, three, grandson of Sergio Osmeña and son of Sergio Osmeña, Jr. Only one former senator ran and lost, Francisco Tadid. Candidates with no prior Senate experience but had family members that previously served in the Senate but lost are Ruffy Biazan, son of outgoing Senator Rodolfo Biazan, Sonia Rocco, wife of Raul Rocco, Adel Tamano, son of Mamintal Tamano, and Susan Opal, daughter of Blas Opal. Per candidate. Per coalition. Totals and percentages won't add up to 100% as some candidates appeared on multiple tickets. Per party With the election of Benigno Aquino III as president, there were only 23 seats in the Senate's chamber for the 15th Congress of the Philippines. There were calls to let the 13th placed candidate, Riza Hontiveros Barakel, to be proclaimed in lieu of Aquino leaving the Senate but neither her campaign nor the Liberal Party petitioned the commission on the matter. Aquino's vacated seat won. TV contested in a special election as special elections for Senate vacancies can only be scheduled on the next scheduled election, that seat would be up for the 2013 election. Unofficial results. Several organizations released unofficial tallies when the Commission's first preliminary tally was yet to be released. Aftermath With the lineup for the 15th Congress becoming apparent, Senator-elect Miriam Defensor Santiago PRP, commented that her ally Manny Villar has the numbers to retake the Senate presidency. Villar resigned from the Senate presidency just prior to the election period and Juan Ponce Enrile PMP, became the new Senate president. Jockeying for the position then began with Francis Pangilinan, liberal, announcing his intention to be Senate president, citing the need for a friendly Senate for the Noynoy Aquino administration. 
The liberals still have to agree on a candidate, as Ponce Enrile earlier said that he will not seek the post, the liberals apparently narrowed down their candidates to former Senate President Franklin Drilon and Pangilinan, with VR as the nationalist of bloc's candidate. Independent Senator Francis Escudero remarked that some senators are conducting exploratory talks on who they will field for the post of Senate President. On July 2, 2010, the Liberal Party announced that Pangilinan will be the candidate for the Senate presidency. Pangilinan will lead in seeking alliances with other senators and said that he will not seek an alliance with the Nationalista Party. Perceived voting blocs in the Senate. On July 23, previous Senate President Enrile announced that he was approached by Drilon, Recto, both liberals, and Escudero, independent, on July 20 informing him that they will support him once he agrees to be included in the race. Enrile agreed, with the conditions that he will not actively campaign, nor enter with a bargaining effort with anyone. Sato, NPC, remarked that retaining Enriel emerged as a viable compromise to prevent an impasse on the opening of Congress, recognizing that he can't secure the required 13 votes to win the Senate presidency. Pangalinen has withdrawn his bid on July 25. The Liberals will now support Enriel for the Senate presidency. Election for Senate President with Lauren Lagarda nominating Enrile, he won the Senate presidency with a vote of 17-3, defeated Alan Peter Cayetano, who was nominated by Joker Arroyo with four absent senators. Cayetano became the minority floor leader instead. Blocks He Vacant Plus gained by a party from another party Square root held by the incumbent. Asterisk held by the same party with a new senator. References External links Official website of the Commission on Elections Official website of National Movement for Free Elections NAMFREL. Official website of the Parish Pastoral Council for Responsible Voting PPCRV. Results Philippines 2010 Election Results, Main Site Philippines 2010 Election Results, Alternate Site PPCRV Map Viewer, PPCRV Encoded Site PPCRV Map Viewer PPCRV Site NAMFREL 2010 Parallel Count NAMFREL Site Holland 2010 Latest Comelec Official Results ABS CBN Site ELEKSYON 2010 National Election Results Tally GMA Site ELEKSYON 2010 Regional Election Results Tally GMA Site Auto Vote 2010 Senatorial Election Results Hatol Ng Bayan Site The Vote 2010 Election Results Tally Bombo Radio Site Media Websites Holland 2010 Election Coverage by ABS CBN Alexian 2010 election coverage by GMA Network Patal Ng Bayan, Auto Vote 2010, election coverage by NBN4, RPN9 and IBC13.